Do you see Jesus today by, by faith, brothers and sisters, my friends? Do, do you see Jesus today? Here at the end of chapter 10, the, chapter 11, he's going to be in Jerusalem. So it's the end of the story. It's sort of the last chapter, right, of the story. And we've just had this rich young ruler in the beginning of chapter 10. And the disciples, but I'll just mention the rich young ruler for now. Notice the context in which this wonderful story occurs. We've just had this rich young man who could see Jesus, literally could see him, but did not believe in him. He had everything he needed, earthly speaking, including seeing Jesus face to face. And when he got his shot, he blew it. He went away sad because he was a rich man. He could see, but he didn't believe. And in contrast, we have this beggar who has nothing like a rich man, who can't see. But he believes. But he believes. Do you see Jesus by faith today? No matter what the obstacles are, no matter what the burdens are, no matter what the sins are, no matter what the, 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 no matter what the burn has been, you've been burned by people or churches or the society, whatever it might be, do you see Jesus today? Do you see this Savior, the Son of David, the King, the Lord himself, the one who can save us, who, he, the one who's come to save? Do you see him by faith? Embrace him. Embrace him as Bartimaeus did. Embrace him as Bartimaeus did. Persevere as Bartimaeus. Follow. Follow, he says, to the ends of the earth until death itself, even to death itself, because knowing death is just the beginning when we see him face to face. Let's pray.